Hey guys, Hobbs back, bringing you another episode of Hobbs Hunting Hawkin' Hooligans. Man, that is a mouthful to say. I dare you to say that five times fast. Maybe the reason why I decided to pick such a ludicrous title was because it was fun to say. Or not fun. Whatever you'd like. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get right into it. This match, if you haven't already looked at the scoreboard, uh, we started off, it's two versus three, us being at the disadvantage, but I still think, being my man guard, I did pretty darn well, and I won't tell the match, the yeah, outcome of the match quite yet, but, you know, it was still a pretty good match. You know, I will say, though, it was probably a lower MMR server, and uh, this was footage back from when I was playing a bit more consistently, so I, I think I did pretty good, although I will say it was a little bit... Actually, you know what? I'd say this was a pretty fair fight, considering I was outnumbered at this to at this time, and I was up against fairly new guys. But still, uh, yeah, a lot of this, this image was back from when I played a lot more consistently. I noticed, like, if you haven't noticed, I haven't been on Hawken much anymore. Main reason being is because my computer is crap. I only get, like, 20 frames a second outside of combat using lowest graphical settings and the lowest screen resolution possible. You know, without like uh, using the potato mode, which I in which you turn off all the textures. You know, aside from that, like you know, if I tried to record, the frame rates would be really, really bad on it. Not to mention the graphics quality would be bare minimum, so the game wouldn't look as good. So, so ironically enough, I need to get a job in order to play more. <laughs> so until I get a job, I won't be able to you know have any money to try and get a better system and uh, get one that will actually let me record again and record at the quality that you guys see here. Because all these videos that I've been putting out was all using record stuff that I had uh, done like you know a while back you know but uh, yeah in fact if you want to want to look at the difference in my uh, mech movement guide in the movement tutorial guide all those uh, little clips where you see me uh, moving against a holographic target and you know like when I was doing in the testing arena all that was filmed recently and you can see the drop in quality that I had to do is like yeah I figured for that tutorial purpose I might as well do it but like for a regular stuff I don't want my quality to drop down too much so I might have to wait I still got plenty of videos on file for you guys so uh, don't worry about that I'll still have a I still got quite a bit of store of files on store because I did record quite a bit I'm just you know gonna sort it through see what I can do with it and then you know do what I can but as far as tutorials those might be a little bit on the slower side because I know I said I do a lot of tutorials however you know since I'm not able to record a lot of new footage I'm having a hard time finding you know enough really good footage in order to put in those tutorials to show you guys what I'm talking about so you know like the shield tutorial and stuff like that like the shield dueling I said I was gonna do that a long long time ago and like the teamwork one I know this is like one of my basic things I um, you know, I'm still doing my best to try and maybe find footage or maybe try to uh, scrounge something up together to try and uh, have good info in there and also good footage for you guys. But uh, at this point, I'm uh, struggling with that a little bit. So I'll probably be doing a bit more of the casual episodes. In fact, I even got another episode of uh, the Hawk and Fortress that I'm probably going to be working on. I got no promises on that because those take a really long time in between that and school and trying to find a job. You know, well, it could take me a long while to get that completed. Well, I will ask uh, one thing. Would you rather have the, a Reaper mech with the Scout and the Sniper, or would you rather have a Vanguard mech with the uh, Vanguard, well, not the Heavy and the Medic? <laughs> Yeah, that's the question right there, and I love it when that happens, people will usually see me at lower health and they'll try to chase me. They end up chasing me and they regret it badly because I always get a grenade in their face, and then this guy, he doesn't notice that I was repairing, he runs right up into me, and then BAM! I take him right out. Oh, I love doing stuff like that, being all sneaky sneaky. But yeah, <laughs> so just let me know in the comments below which uh, pair of the TF2 characters would you rather see in the next uh, Hawk and Fortress, you know, if I haven't already decided by that time. But, you know, just let me know, and I'll probably, you know, I got both under production right now, but I'll probably finish one before the other, uh, before, you know, depending on what the requests I get. And yeah, I'm just doing my best here to support my guy. I already took out one guy. <laughs> There's that one dude, and I'm like, really low on health here. Like, ah, you know, like I got down to 94. I managed to get a grenade in that guy's face, and now I'm just dodging around. I'm trying to avoid that guy. You know, just I'm just trying to put him on a wild goose chase and let my partner try to take care of him as best I can. But then the Rocketeer locks onto me, and then boom, my Vanguard is a dead man guard. Oh well, <laughs> couldn't have lasted forever. But still, for being outnumbered uh, three against two, I still say we did pretty well. I mean, we actually are one point ahead, you know, considering the situation. So yeah, that's I'd, I'd say we didn't do too bad. Mainly because you know I kept telling the guys like, okay, dude, we got to stick together, be a little bit more stealthy. You know, I was like, you know, trying to coordinate with him a little bit in the chat. But yeah, uh, 
Yeah, and you see me switch over to my Vanguard. No, not the Vanguard. <laughs> it's my Assault Mech. And I know I said in the past that I didn't like the pointy Vulcan. I only don't like it on mechs that aren't the Assault Mech, only because of the high heat generation. And the Assault Mech has the coolant ability, so that really counters it. And so the negative effects for me really aren't there as much on the Assault Mech. So yeah, I definitely do not mind using the Vulcan on a Assault Mech. In fact, it's quite useful. In fact, I've even learned to use it on my Vanguard and my, bra and my Brawler at times, but I tend to use those in much more pack situations or objective-based games rather than team deathmatch. But I'd say the best uh, mech to use the Vulcan on is definitely the Assault Mech. And then here, I'm just trying to, you know, stealthily search around for all our enemies, and then I find them. <laughs> There's all three of them just walking right there, which is why I wanted to be really careful because I couldn't engage like all three of them right off the bat. And I saw that one guy. Oh, I thought he was going to take off to the side, but no, he was just right there. Then, yep, my partner gets taken out, so I'm going like, nope, I gotta get out of there. So I'm just walking down. Ah, oh, I missed that tow rocket to his face, though. And I lay down a shield to see if he's gonna take the bait. Yeah, he took the bait, but that's a full health rocketeer, and I don't know if I'm gonna beat that on my own. <laughs> well, so far, I'm just, I am just was just uh, shield dueling right there. And then, yes, my buddy shows up and he helps me out, and I managed to get out of the screen. Oh, teamwork, fellas. Remember, it is very, very important. And also the shield, because you saw me right there. You can just use it to stay in and survive, you know, try to trick people. Because, you know, if they have to waste their bullets to try and get you, they're going to be heated up by the time they actually, you, they actually pierce your shields, and it's going to be harder for them to fight you because they're much closer to overheating than you are. And then here, it's just me trying to fight, although I got a little bit low, mainly because I think I accidentally shot myself with the tow rocket before. And yeah, I don't run with a fail safe. Oh god, that rocketeer, uh, where'd it come from? Oh yeah, and I was accidentally using a hologram because I was trying to record some of the footage for the movement tutorial at some point. Uh, actually, no way. I don't know. I, I, I just remember that I accidentally had that hologram on. I was like, oh crap, 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 crap! You know, I was trying to like put up a repair charge, but I didn't have the repair charge. I'm like, no! Oh, my repair charge just saved me so much. It's just like, ah, I just, it just felt so weird without having it. But, you know, I still think I did pretty good. And then I finally took out that Rocketeer, but I got no help. I'm like, ah! I gotta just get away from that guy. I'm just, like, doing my best. Like, I see my teammate right there. I try to cross him, and then oh, I try to sneak up. No, no, he turned, and then he... Uh, yeah, I was dead after that. I was trying to get... Oh, and I lost the domination. Oh, well. Yeah, I was trying to do my best to sneak around, but then that guy turned around and saw me. I'm like, oh, crap. You know, uh, oh, well. <laughs> What can I say? I tried. And I switched back to the SMC, mainly because, you know, I'd say SMC's still just a good all-rounder, and I love it. Oh, yes! We had backup at this point! Ah! Uh, and so, like, us, just me and that other guy, Corduroy Jones, we were just holding out, like, you know, 12, 12, and okay, we lost one at that point, but, you know, now the teams are even, so I think we should be able to do fairly well at this point. So, but yeah, like, for uh, being outnumbered initially, me and that other guy, we did pretty well for just being outnumbered at the time. So yeah, I'd say we did pretty well just trying to keep it even, which I think is probably the best idea when you're outnumbered. At least just try to keep things even, more so not by trying to get kills, but more so on the survival side. You just don't want to die because I'm sorry, if you charge recklessly into a crowd and you're outnumbered, I mean, you're just going to die. So you got to be a lot more uh, defensive if you're outnumbered versus where, you know, if you got superior numbers, you can be you can afford to be a lot more aggressive. But yeah, um, we were just playing defensive and playing it smart like that. So we managed to keep things even. And now, obviously, we're gaining a little bit of the upper hand now that the uh, numbers have evened out. Because, well, think about it. I mean, if me and that one other guy were just, you know, able to keep things even as, you know, two on three, then three on three, obviously, we'll have a little bit of the advantage when we're playing. But yeah, I'm just glad that backup arrived because it's just like, oh, thank you. But yeah, I definitely like my uh, assault mech. You know, I, gotta, I should play it more. But yeah, actually, I'm probably going to rename my uh, assault mech the Hobzinator. Because I already renamed my G2 Raider Molly, and I spelled it M-A-U-L-L-I-E. You know, Molly the Fat Raider. I could not, th there could not be a better name for a G2 Raider. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this was a pretty cool match. We, you know, even though we started off, like, as the underdog, and you know, I still say we did fairly well. We were able to pull it out just barely at the end right here. You know, 16, you know, 16 to 14, and then, oh yes, there's that Rocketeer right there. He wasn't paying attention. I got him right in his backside. <laughs> but then his teammates finally turned around, so I was there, and so now I gotta, you know, try and kill them. And oh yeah, this is so guy. I was like, ah! 
And I put down a shield to try and, you know, help myself out, but then it got taken out. And I was just like, this is so close, so close. Oh, man, oh, man. So close. Yes, no, I didn't quite get him, and then... Boom! I Goomba stomped him to victory, and I got the crushing blow achievement. Oh, I just remembered that this happened in the video. Oh, gosh, that felt totally awesome. Oh, jeez. You have no idea how hard crush kills are to get, but when you get them, oh my god, they're amazing. But yeah, getting that achievement, just 10 crush kills, it took a, me a while, but... <sighs> oh well. Yeah, we won that game, so alright guys, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do what have you, because this is pretty much the end of the video. I'll probably see you guys in any other videos I make. Uh, remember, just, you know, leave anything in the comments, suggestions, questions, anything like that, because you know I like talking to you guys, but this is Hobbs, signing off.